I mean, memory's a tricky thing. Yes. Right? Most people think that memory is like a recording that you can just press play and it plays back exactly the way mm -hmm. it happened. Mm -hmm. But that's not how it gets mm. recorded. We get bits. We get bits and pieces. It yeah. gets recorded according to emotion attached to it mm. as well. Right? Mm. If there's strong emotion, which might be negative or positive, it's more likely to be recorded, yeah. stored, but yeah. not necessarily stored factually. Mm. Right? And then we might remember an event mm -hmm. and remember the date, right? but the emotion attached to it is different than what actually happened. So most yeah. people can't remember what happened, say, for instance, their fifth birthday. Mm. But if you ask me what happened on my fifth birthday, I can tell you. And I've verified it with my mum. Mm. And I've got photos to show it. And I remember it vividly because on that particular day, my dad made a cricket bat for me out of a piece of pine flooring. And we played cricket with it all afternoon until he could no longer stand because he drank too much. <laughs> But I remember that because mm. it was probably one of the only times I spent a whole afternoon playing cricket with my dad. Mm. Yeah. Quite special. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. However, later on in life, when I had a conversation with my father, his memory of that day was very different than mine. Mm. And when I sat and talked with him about it, the reason was because he had given up so much to be there for me. He could have gone to the races that day, mm. but he chose to spend it with me. Mm. I didn't know that, mm. but he was resentful. Ah. So my memory was a happy memory, but his memory of the same day was not a happy memory. Mm. Mm. Two different things about the same day, yeah. right? So it depends where we come from. Mm. But it was significant and it was etched in your mind and Absolutely. your dad's mind. And you in had... both their minds. And until we had that conversation when I was 16, yeah. I didn't know he felt that way. Mm. Mm. Right. So he possibly got bitter and angry about what he had to forfeit yes. or give yeah. up. Yeah, And that, that, that came across in sometimes the way he spoke to me, the way he treated me. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until that time that I actually expressed to him, because I hadn't done it until that time, how grateful I was that he did spend that time with me. He said, oh, oh, that's good. Mm. And yeah. I said, that doesn't sound like you were too pleased. And he said, well, I actually resented the fact that I couldn't go to the races that day. Mm. Mm. I was surprised. Yeah. But once we talked about it, we were able to come to an understanding. Yeah. And I don't think he was as resentful after that towards me for that day yeah, <laughs> because right. he realised I appreciated it. Yeah. You can see that he'd given up things for yeah. you, but yeah. not quite what. Yeah. yeah. And that was a bit of that fun that mm. we had, mm. right? He didn't feel it was fun. Mm. I mean, I thought he enjoyed it at the time, but he said it was probably because he was drinking. Mm. I enjoyed it because I spent time with my dad. Yeah. Mm. So it takes people quite a lot of time sometimes to accept mm. some things that are unacceptable, but they have to live with it, they mm. have to adapt to it. So mm. it's a reality that they have to um, come to terms with. Mm. So what's happening in the brain for people then when they're battling with accepting some of this stuff? Well, that's part of the struggle between what they think logically mm -hmm and what they feel. Mm. There's a difference between the two. And mm. until we can actually marry those two together, bring them together mm. in a reasonable place, we won't accept things. Mm. Mm. And it's not just a matter of saying, oh, well, I'll push my feelings aside, because as the car model expresses, it's all part of us. Mm. We can't just push mm. it aside. Well, we mm. can't just take one wheel off the back of the car and say, oh, I don't want that wheel anymore, yeah. right? Part of who we are. It's part of who we are. Mm. So we need to integrate it and bring it together to yeah. a level of understanding that says, okay, this is what's happened. Yes. How do I go about accepting this? Mm. And for me, mm. accepting that approach from my father was understanding why he was resentful. Mm. So when I began to understand that, I could actually empathise with him a bit. And, oh, okay, it meant a lot for him to be there. Well, I did appreciate it, mm. but it helped me also understand his other attitudes towards mm. me. Mm. And for him, hearing me say, 
I was very grateful for it because he'd never heard that before, helped soften his stance. Mm. Mm. So there was a level of acceptance on both our parts. Yeah. Right? That was better than it was before yeah. you had that conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So talking about things obviously helps. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah.